So today I would like to discuss the Chatham House rule. Uh, as you know, uh, Chatham House is the Royal Institute of International Affairs located in London. And this has been the, you know, this was established in 1920 and uh, it has a membership of 3,150. And they have been many important public uh, debates in this house um, about international affairs and policy making. And the Chatham House rule is a non-attribution rule. Um, it states that when a meeting or part thereof is held under the Chatham House rule, participants are free to use the information received, but neither the identity nor the affiliation of the speakers nor that of any other participants may be revealed. That is the Chatham House rule. So this is a non-attribution rule. You discuss uh, things about uh, foreign policy in the Chatham House and you can quote that discussion and you can get inspired from the discussions. You can get ideas from the discussion and you can use these ideas and information in your business and in your policy making when you go about uh, outside Chat Chatham House. But you cannot attribute a particular information or idea to a participant. This is very important because, you know, one, uh, it can free yourself from obligations you feel, uh, from your affiliation, you know, uh, from your job title or so on. For example, if you work for uh, a company, uh, then your stance on China, for example, might be restricted because your company might have business with China. But when it comes to policy making uh, in uh, Chinese affairs, uh, then uh, it is um, very important that you think freely uh, in terms of, for example, human rights and, you know, civil rights and civil disobedience and Taiwan, Hong Kong, uh, Xinjiang and so on. So it is very important to think freely. Otherwise, you cannot come to the best solution in anything. But in order to do that, you need to think freely from your affiliation. Otherwise, you cannot really, uh, you know, exchange ideas on now free basis. So that is Chatham House rule for you. And another important aspect is that you know, when in the out uh, in the world, uh, you sometimes are obsessed with uh, credit uh, when you come up with some new ideas. You might want to be credited for it. And that can be good. Uh, for example, if you write an important paper, of course you would be, uh, you know, happy to be credited for it. And you might get promotion, you might get social recognition, and so on. But when it comes to a, a free exchange of ideas that promotes human creativity, attribution can be a, you know, hindering uh, factor. Because, you know, when you are too obsessed with attribution, then you are kind of building a wall between you and other people and you want to enclose things within you uh, because you don't want to lose the credit and the social recognition that uh, comes with it. So, you know, in under Chatham House rule, uh, you would be freed from this egocentric uh, worldview of attribution, credit, and social recognition, and you kind of become a part of a larger picture uh, where you may say something and you what you say might be, uh, you know, used by other people's mind. But that is fine because the whole objective of the discussion is to come to an understanding, come to a better vista, if you like about some international affairs and policy making. And that is the only purpose uh, when you discuss things. And that can be only achieved when you are freed from this egocentric, uh, you know, obsession with uh, credit and social recognition and so on. So Chatham's rule uh, is a wonderful invention, if you like, uh, from two points. Uh, one is that you can discuss freely uh, you know, uh, independent of your affiliations and organization. And secondary, uh, that uh, the rule uh, promotes exchange of ideas freed from the egocentric obsession with credit.
and social recognition. So from these two points, uh, I regard the Chatham House rule as a great invention in terms of uh, nurturing um, the really creative and productive exchange of ideas with these doors. And so I already applaud the Chatham House and those people who are involved in this uh, very important uh, arena for discussion. And I think that is very important because in the world, uh, we are facing increasingly difficult you know, challenges, uh, including, but not uh, exclusively, uh, China. <laughs> you know, that is an uh, elephant in the room right now. But uh, yeah, well, Chatham House rule, this non-attribution uh, rule, can do many, many good things uh, in uh, making us realize the world as they are and making us a better person.